three questions of the artist here at Slate Contemporary, featuring artist Ronnie Feldman. Wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here today. Um, can you just tell us why you chose clouds as a subject matter for this series? Sure. So initially when I started these paintings, I was working with all different types of liquid, making paintings of waves and waterfalls. I was really interested in the way that uh, liquid is constantly changing and moving and in flux. And then clouds ultimately seemed like the perfect uh, choice to focus on because it's also so light, soft, airy feeling. Um, and, and just uh, also feels calming. I really wanted something that feels peaceful and even meditative. Can you please talk about your interest, dare I say, obsession with white and white paintings and how it relates to color theory? Yeah, certainly. Um, so I've been fascinated with the history of white and white paintings for many, many years, maybe as long as I can remember. Uh, there's so many interesting uh, paintings that are history uh, that use kind of white and white techniques and uh, subject matter. And um, I'm also a, a professor of color theory. Um, and something I was just telling my students this week is that to understand color theory, you first have to understand light theory. And uh, one thing we talk about is how all the colors of the rainbow all make up white light. So in white, there is both everything and nothing all at once. And if you look at my paintings, they can be incredibly minimal and subtle and calm. And then you move about and look at them from a different angle and it can become very maximal and baroque and just full of detail and complex imagery. One of my favorite things about your work is as you move around them and throughout different times of the day, they can change completely. Can you tell us a little bit about that phenomenon and how that works into your artistry? Sure. Uh, so I feel like to make these things I have to be like a part-time physicist. Um, they are made entirely with white paint. And everything you're seeing here, the light and dark, that's all just white paint. But the difference is some of it is matte and some of it is kind of a metallic iridescent. So as the light refracts off of it, some of it will appear light, some will appear dark. Um, so really they transform as you walk through the room or the sunlight changes during the day, revealing different bits and pieces, sometimes the entire thing, sometimes just small amounts. Um, and it, it just kind of shifts constantly and it's kind of meant to um, uh, invite uh, rediscovery, reinvent investigation, uh, and even maybe a contemplative and meditative experience with them. 